Hi guys. I know it's been a while since I've been on. Um, I'm fighting a sinus infection. I actually have been sick for like, I don't know, it feels like since last month. <laughs> so I'm on antibiotics, so at least that part will be resolved. But I thought it'd be kind of fun to come on since it is the month of December, the month of red besides February, to show you guys some red lipsticks. So let's get started. I have a lot of red lipsticks that I am a fan of, and I'm going to show you those today. So let's start with um, a couple here. So the first one I'm going to start with is this lipstick here. This is by MAC. This is in the shade Straight F I got cut off there. Um, this guy I have worn before. It's almost like a metallic, so let me go ahead and show you how it looks. So this is like a very bold lipstick. It's got like a um, pink, pink hues. It's more of a pinkier, deeper wine red. Um, terrible application, but at least it gives you an idea of what this color looks like. This is one of my favorites. Okay, so the next lipstick shade I'm going to go in with is this shade called Ruby Woo. Maybe a lot of you guys own this one, but I'll go ahead and show you how it looks. Sorry, terrible application. I usually like to wear a lip liner, but I really wanted to not, I wanted it to be true to the lipstick color so you guys can see it. But this is the Ruby Woo. So as you can see, it's a it's a really nice, uh, pretty, like Coca-Cola red almost. Okay, so the next shade I'm gonna go in with is this shade called Russian Red. This one's by MAC as well. And show you how this one looks. Is definitely one of my favorite reds so just to show you the difference between Russian red that one's Russian red and um, Ruby Woo Ruby Woo is a little bit brighter this one's a little bit more pigmented on the red okay so I do have a couple of favorites by Urban Decay one is called f-bomb which is a cream the other one is called bad blood let's go ahead and start with the f-bomb one first So because it's a cream, it's going to be more like a glossy texture uh, hue to it, which I don't mind. I actually really love that. It um, makes your lips look fuller. So once again, that color is F-Bomb by Urban Decay. Let's look at Bad Blood. This is one of my favorites too. I love, I like like a bluer hue kind of um, red for me. So this is Bad Blood by Urban Decay. Um, it is a matte, it's a comfort matte, and when you apply it, it feels like a creamy texture, and then it just, just feels good. Yeah, so that's Bad Blood. My lips are dying here. Okay, <laughs> the next one is a uh, lipstick by uh, Laura Mercier. It's the Velour Extreme Matte Lipstick in the shade Control. I got this from Sona Gasparian from her giveaway on Wednesday. So let's try it on. It's a really easy application because of the way that it's shaped. Don't let the stickiness like, you know, uh, discourage you because it's still a very nice color. It's very pigmented, so. Now that I've gone through all the lipsticks, I want to go through the liquid lipsticks and all the red shades that I have been a big fan of for this last year. So this is by Persona Cosmetics. This is their shade Holy Grail. It is so awesome. What's nice about this one is the applicator and of course the formula. So let's go ahead and apply. Sorry guys. I don't mean to not be on the camera. What's nice about this one, you can either leave it as is or you can actually add another coat and it's just gonna deepen it even more. And I love that. So here is OG by Persona Cosmetics. It's a matte. I put two coats on, so it's really rich. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Next one you guys might be familiar with. This is by Fenty Beauty. This is the Stunna Lip Paint in the shade Uncensored. 
This is a really nice red too. Applicator's kind of interesting, but oh la la, this is so awesome. This is one coat. So, um, you know, some formulas you want to, you know, add a second coat, but I feel like with this one, you don't need to. Um, it was very easy. It's very, very fluid like and like runny almost so I don't feel like you need to add um, too much because you have enough leeway time to kind of you know move the, the product around your lips and get it the way you want it. So again this is Stunna Lip Paint in the shade Uncensored by Fenty Beauty. It's a good red. I'm really excited to be able to share with you my one of my favorites uh, lipsticks um, that I wear actually quite often in the last year I have. Um, so these are the Velour Liquid Lipsticks by Jeffree Star. So let's get started on all those. So this is the shade. Yeah, it looks a little bit more orangey on me, but I noticed that with deeper skin tones, it could become it could come off like a orangey red. Um, but I still still feel like it is more on the reddish orange. It le but it leans in that fan. Yeah. Once again, this is Jeffree Star's Velour Liquid Lipstick in the shade Anna Nicole. The mm -hmm. shade I'm going to go ahead and apply for you guys is this shade called Red Rum by Jeffree Star. Um, I do find this to be a, a truer red. Um, gosh, I haven't worn it in a while, so let's take a look. Yeah, it's a blue red. Once again, this is the shade by Jeffree Star in the shade uh, Red Rum. One of my favorites. Mm hmm. Good color. So the next shade that I just applied is the shade called Unicorn Blood by Jeffree Star. This one definitely has more of a mauve deeper wine color uh, hue to it. That's what I meant to say. And um, so, yes, so once again, that is this nice, very vampy, um, sultry looking kind of color. I really love this one. So, Unicorn Blood. Now, this shade actually launched during the summertime, but I still really feel like you could wear it in the winter. Um, this is his Velour Liquid Lipstick in the shade Cherry Wet. So let's go ahead and show you guys. Here's the applicator. So that's what it looks like. This is actually two coats of this shade. Um, it's more. It does lean more on the uh, pinkier side, but it still can be in the red family, I think. So, so once again, this is the shade called Cherry Wet by Jeffree Star. Sorry guys, the last one, just because time is of the essence. All right, so this is uh, Jeffree Star's last year um, holiday from his holiday collection. This is the shade Poinsettia. This is one of my favorites. This is a metallic. It's because like I actually had to dig in there to, make, you know, because I use this color so much. But um, this is the shade Poinsettia by Jeffree Star. Definitely something, uh, a color worth checking out and using for the holiday. You guys, well that concludes my videos for today. Um, but let me know definitely if you guys would be interested in me doing these more often. I'd be happy to do that. That was actually kind of fun. All right, see you guys.